This milk frother is so good. It makes a really good froth, but it is very loud. Look at that. It's like coffee with a cloud on it. So that will be my first breakfast in my new home. Ta-da! Voila. I do not have a fridge where you can stick magnets and I've been collecting magnets for a long time from all my trips well not all but from a lot of my trips and this fume extractor is pretty ugly so I decided to put my magnets on here Scotland, Cannes, Sardinia, Sicily that's from France, Copenhagen love them and I think it looks so cute like when I open my spice cupboard it just makes me happy just had my breakfast and there's quite a bit of my honey cake left so I'm gonna have that because why not it's my favorite cake in the world so why not treat yourself right Yum. my mom and brother just popped over to bring some bed sheets and also this uh, little shelf where I keep my perfumes so on top I've got my perfumes on the Second shelf, I've got the books I'm currently reading. So yeah, for now it's gonna be here. I don't know if it will stay here, but that's where it is for now. And that's where Lee is for now. Lee. So now I'm doing a tiny bit of organizing. Um, I'm putting all my bed sheets and towels in here. So I have like simple um, pillowcases and then all my silk pillowcases the towels here and then like mattress covers and duvet covers here my scary cat he hasn't been out all day he's been hiding um and then here in the wardrobe i did some more organizing i've rearranged all my jackets here and then here, this is what it looks like. And like extra bed sheet on the top. Um, oh, and also, my dad came over today to set up this. He also had some coffee, we chatted for a little bit, and uh, he couldn't set it up because I need to have Wi Fi. And this is exactly what I'm gonna go and do now. It's already 3 p.m. and uh, I start celebrating with the girls at 6 p.m. and by that time I need to get my Wi-Fi, need to take my kettle from my studio and then need to go home, pick up Linda and my friend Christina, come back here, actually do some food shopping. So I actually don't have a lot of time at all. This is a housewarming present from my grandparents. It's Google Chromecast. So basically I'll be able to watch YouTube, Netflix, listen to Spotify. Yeah, this is like a thing you attach to your TV and then you can control it with your phone. Actually, I don't think I will get uh, cable TV because I don't actually watch any TV. It is so sunny today. It's such a beautiful day. Oh, I love it. So I haven't even properly introduced this vlog yet. I'm gonna do a New Year's Eve vlog. So I'm gonna vlog all day. Um, and yeah, so I had last night at my apartment, my first night here, and not gonna lie, it was very tough. 
So uh, yesterday I had such lovely housewarming party. My family was here. I made lasagna. They couldn't stop eating. They said it's so good. Give us some more. <laughs> So I was ecstatic, I was on cloud nine for sure yesterday. Um, then we had some coffee and cake and we talked a lot. You know, I was like Ooh, so excited and like serving everyone, making sure everyone's happy. And it was also very emotional because um, before the dinner, I thanked every member of my family for all the support and help. It all started at the end of July, that's when I bought my apartment and so it's been five months and we made it happen in five months. It was a really, really emotional moment for me. Um, in the end, then they all left and it suddenly felt so empty and lonely and Louis is under a bench still. Um, yeah, I just felt really lonely um, because obviously I haven't lived away from my family. So it is a very bittersweet moment for me because I am excited to have my own home, you know, to create new memories here. It's all mine, it's cozy, it's homely. I'm so happy about it, but at the same time, but at the same time, I had to leave the home I grew up in. I was so close to my home, my surroundings, the nature I had around, my family that was always there. Actually, my like my parents and my brother, my grandparents that live next door, and also my aunt and my cousin that live also super close, almost next door. So we were all together. And we were never alone, we were like always going to each other's homes and spending evenings or afternoons at each other's. So, you know, we're a very tightly bond family, we need each other. Um, so it was like, I've been taken away of this family bubble and placed in an apartment all on my own with my cat. So it is, it is difficult sharing a very honest moment with you guys it's not easy if you i don't know some people make it look so easy they're just so happy excited and it's like i'm gonna be independent not gonna have my family around and i'm like yeah you are independent and you're like you have your own home but i need my family i'm a, such a family person so Maybe those people, I don't know, they're either fooling you into thinking it's easy or they're not close to their family at all. So maybe that then it's not that important. Maybe then you actually want to, you know, be on your own and have that freedom. So yeah, just thought I would share some thoughts with you guys, but I know it's gonna get easier. I'm gonna, you know, spend a week, two weeks, a month here and then hopefully I will feel better. Now it's like, you know, I don't have anyone to talk to. It's just me, myself and I. I, cannot, I can't talk to my cat but without any response back. So it's like a very quiet living. Look at that. Louis went out from under the bench to eat. Oh my God. I'm not gonna disturb him because this is a very important moment because he's been so stressed out so I'm gonna tell you about Louis in a minute. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Uh, I don't know, I said that it's, it's gonna get better for sure. Um, and also my family is so close. Um, it's like by car it's 15 minutes away, exactly on the dot 15 minutes. So really, I can go home anytime or they can come over. Actually, they already came over today. My mom and my brother and my dad later on. So I'm sure they will visit me and I'll go back home. So yeah, in that sense, it's gonna be easier for me than to some people who move cities, who move countries or like states in US. I know it should be so difficult. I can't imagine how some of you guys are so strong to do that. You know, people move all over the world. Like my best friend, Alexa, she moved to China. I honestly, I can't imagine that. I would feel so homesick. Um, but yeah, 
I guess we are all so different. That's what makes us unique and special. We're so, you know, we have our own things and we cannot all be the same or feel the same. And oh, talking about Louis, he didn't sleep with me. He slept under this sofa. And um, in the morning, I was trying to get him to come out from there. He still went hiding. He went under this bench and he just ate a little bit and he went back under the bench. So he is very scared, very uncomfortable still, but I'm so glad he ate. Someone actually wrote me a message that for pets, moving is extremely difficult. I think they said that it's not as difficult for them to lose the owner as it is difficult for them to move. So if that's the case, I feel very sorry for him. And fingers crossed, I really hope he will get better, but it's New Year's Eve today and it was probably a very bad decision for me to move him now because he's gonna be so petrified when start when fireworks start and oh also guys thank you so much for all the supportive messages on instagram i got so so many like so many from you guys um a lot of you shared your experience moving away from home it was very very lovely to read um your thoughts so thank you so much for all the support and love throughout this whole process um yeah, it just makes me smile reading your messages and comments. So now I have to go dress up, start preparing for the New Year's Eve. And I will vlog. This is a cake, Christina Bake. So incredible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So we're all getting ready to go out. Celebrate the new year. Girls, you're in the dark. Put some lights on. Yay! <laughs> We're back with the girls from watching fireworks. And now Linda is showing us what modern teenagers are listening to and how they dress and dance. I made you. Granola. So I'm gonna sleep. Linda Diva went home and this will be Christina's bed. Lee is still hiding. I just had a shower. because it is a little bit of a mess and I'm gonna make some waffles now this was the present from Christina it's so beautiful it's like a plate, a bowl and a mug they're 
so pretty. This was actually a Christmas present from my brother, a waffle maker that I wanted so much. And yeah, so excited to make some. And these are my Instax pictures from yesterday. The girls all took some pictures as well. Alexa, play calm piano. Finally brought my kettle from the studio. I like for you to let me Your music so to my eyes. <laughs> By the way, some of you guys asked me where I get this almond milk for professionals and I get it in Biosella shop in Acropolis in Klepela. Alexa, pause. So this is our breakfast table, baked waffles, but um, I need to get other type of flour because this is whole grain flour. It's not the best for baking waffles, but hopefully they'll taste good. And this candle by Jo Malone, it's sweet almond and macaroon, it smells incredible. So yeah, we're gonna have breakfast now. Do you wanna be on camera? Not really. And watch friends. Linda and I are getting ready. To go back home, I'm gonna drop her, visit my parents, um, I'm gonna wear this leather coat for the first time. It makes me think of Guys. Rachel from Friends. That's Linda. Um, we took some pictures, had a little photo shoot here on my sofa and off we go. It's actually evening already. It was raining so we were really cozy at but home. We went to sleep like at 5 a.m. Yeah, at 5 a.m. So now we have a candle burning, we had tea, breakfast, watched friends. It was such a fantastic morning. Started New Year in a great mood. way, mood. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this vlog. I will see you very soon probably. Bye! Bye.